Trial officially began in the Palm Springs quadruple murder case. Jose Laren Garcia, a Cathedral City man, is accused of killing four people. News Channel 3's Madison Wild was there in court this morning with Laren Garcia, and she has the latest developments. Madison. Peter, good evening. The families of the victims in this case have waited nearly three years for this trial to begin. Some of them were in court today. The prosecution delivered an opening statement this morning, providing new details about the accused killer and his relationship to the victims. You will learn that Jose Vladimir Laren Garcia is the executioner. The executioner, a phrase Deputy District Attorney Samantha Pascio used several times during her opening statement to describe accused killer Jose Laren Garcia. Each victim suffered a gunshot wound to their head. All four were executed. The prosecution says on the night of February 3rd, 2019, Laren Garcia was in a car with three of the four victims. She says Juliana Garcia was driving, Juan Duarte Raya was in the passenger seat, Jacob Montgomery and Laren Garcia were in the back seat. She says the four were driving in this green Toyota Corolla and that direct Facebook messages reveal Jacob Montgomery was going to sell the fourth victim, Carlos Campos Rivera, drugs. These are the last known messages these two engaged in. Pascio says when the Corolla approached the agreed upon meeting spot in Palm Springs, shots were fired, killing Carlos Campos Rivera. Witnesses say the car then sped away. The four inside the Corolla were heading down East Sunny Dunes Road. She says a witness then heard additional gunshots. She says at that moment, Laren Garcia shot and killed the other three inside that car. They didn't stand a chance. She says Laren Garcia jumped out of the moving Corolla before it crashed. News Channel 3 captured this video from the scene three years ago. She says police found him hiding under a truck without his shoes and that a later investigation revealed he had the blood of both Montgomery and Duarte Raya on those shoes. While no gun was recovered from the scene, the prosecution says investigators found ammunition in his bedroom. The ammunition is consistent with the ammunition, the 9 millimeter weapon that was used for all four of those murders. Laren Garcia was taken to Desert Regional the night of the murders where he fled. He was arrested by police at a bus stop in the following days. In court today, Laren Garcia appeared calm. He did not turn to face the victim's families in the audience or our cameras once. We'll be back in court tomorrow morning at 9 to hear from the defense as they present their opening statement. Remember, Laren Garcia could face the death penalty in this case. We'll have more for you tomorrow here on News Channel 3. In studio, Madison Weil, back to you guys.